Hi, good morning, Louise. Um, in Ireland, we are very excited to be able to talk to you about an Irish innovation, which we have become quite interested in, and that's the transition year. So, Louise, what is the main idea and concept behind the transition year? Thanks, Anna. Lovely to meet you. Um, the transition year was first introduced as a pilot scheme to schools in Ireland in the 1980s and then was made available nationally from 1994. And the aim was to create a space within formal schooling to promote the personal, the social, um, educational, vocational development of students and to prepare them for their role as autonomous, participative and responsible members of society. In order to achieve this goal, there is an emphasis within the transition year on personal development, social awareness, increased social competence. There is also the promotion of general technical and academic skills with an emphasis on more interdisciplinary and self-directed learning. Um, the other strand of transition year focuses on educational through the experience of adult and working life. So just to put the transition year or TY in context, in Ireland, the students complete three years in lower secondary education and complete state examinations at this level, which is called the junior cycle. And then the upper secondary programme is a two year programme that leads to the leaving certificate state examinations. And the transition year is an optional year between these two phases of education to focus on areas that are outside the remit of formal examination and certification, the soft, soft skills, personal development, social development, and exploring other educational opportunities. Now, at the moment, approximately 89% of secondary schools will offer transition year to students. Um, it's not a compulsory year. So approximately 65% of the cohort of students do take transition year in schools. And schools have the autonomy to design their own transition year programme in adherence with broad national guidelines. This allows the schools to develop modules or programmes that they feel would directly benefit their student cohort. The so schools are allowed to continue with some academic areas that will continue into senior cycle, um, but only about a third of the time timetable should directly relate to curricular content. So schools use this opportunity to introduce students to subject areas that the students may be unfamiliar with. They mightn't have studied at junior cycle or that they might have an interest in, but are not prepared to commit to a full course of study at this time. So that is an opportunity for students to try out subjects before making those lifelong decisions that they will make when they choose subjects for senior cycle. Um, there is an emphasis on very active pedagogy and methodologies, and that helps the students to develop the other skill sets like organizational skills, IT skills, teamwork, enterprise, innovation. And in most schools, TY programs um, include work experience as a vital element of transition year. Great. And this gives the students the opportunity to explore different career options before making those decisions at senior cycle. It sounds really interesting for, for us and for what we are currently um, thinking about in Germany. So from the student perspective, why would you say that um, taking part in a transition year program is beneficial for a student at age 15, 16? Is that the age group? We're that is about, about the age. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, there actually, there has been a lot of research on transition year because it has been in our system since 1995. We can say that there are a lot of reported benefits of, of participation. Um, thing, students report things like making new friends, mixing with other groups, better relationship with teachers, a break from stressful state examinations, varied teaching and assessment methods, the use of uh, project work and portfolios to build different skills, doing work experience, having those opportunities to engage with a range of subject or activities. And um, they also report benefits like the developing of organizational skills, maturity, developing independence, stronger social skills and self-confidence. But nothing is perfect and there are also some negative impacts that have been reported by students so when when transition year is experienced negatively some students can report a lack of engagement and um, some transition year classes may be too similar in content or format to the conventional classes and some students express express regret at a loss of academic momentum at times mm -hmm. um, and however 
in schools where transition year is compulsory. So while it is within the system, it's an optional um, extra. Some schools will decide that all students in their cohort would benefit from it. And where that happens, where TY is compulsory for all students, that is where the more negative experiences are reported. Okay, so it's important to have a choice about a starting transition year to re really be given an option in terms of doing transition year or not doing transition year. Exactly. Okay. And for students who have a very uh, had strong academic uh, momentum and motivation and they know what they want to do, they quite often find compulsion to do transition year detrimental because they, yes. they know. Whereas for others who are unsure or who are young in the cohort, they will find the most benefit. Great. Mm -hmm. And how does transition year prepare these students for what comes after um, the qualification phase or sixth form? Um, how does it prepare them for life beyond school? So either vocational careers or academic careers and even the decision which career path to follow. So the aim of TY is to prepare students for life beyond just a, an, an academic focus. Um, and that focus on the personal social um, development as well as the academic development, um, particularly around the vocational development of the students where they're able to explore different option areas in a safe space because they haven't made final decisions. Um, the, the aim there is a very holistic one. It sees students as more than just a, an academic career. Um, so for, for that reason, students find it very beneficial. The majority of, of transition year students will progress into the academic pathway. In Ireland, we have approximately 91% of the overall cohort that uh, complete the final stage of upper secondary, which is an academic qualification. A very small percentage, about 5%, complete leaving certificate applied, which is a pre-vocational program. But the majority do, do complete the, the academic leaving cert. And within that, the, the research has shown that transition year students um, achieve a substantially higher performance than their peers who, who skip transition year. Now, this may be due to many factors, better self-regulatory uh, organizational skills, more informed subject choices uh, mm -hmm. is a key factor, better relationships with teachers as a motivational factor, um, or it could be down to the different demographic or educational profile of students who engage in transition year. Students who tend not to, to choose the option um, tend to be older within the cohort, but we also find that students from other language backgrounds uh, tend not to, to opt for the transition year option um, or, and students who already have the, their own motivation and know their career path tend not to, uh, to, not to go for a TY. However, there are some issues around transition year um, into the future that, that could affect the, the shape and, and, and feel of the programme. Um, and they are in particular the, the other changing aspects of the curriculum around the transition year. Um, so for example, um, we have the, the introduction of two additional state funded early childhood education years, which means that the cohort will necessarily be older as it works through the system. Mm -hmm. So you may not have as many students who are approaching upper secondary at, at 15, more of them will be 16, 17 by the time they reach that stage. Um, we also have changes at the junior cycle um, that have been introduced in the last five or six years. And those changes to the curriculum have meant um, more holistic development of key skills at that uh, lower secondary stage of education that may make ty program less appealing for students if they feel they have already developed those type of skills mm. um, and the senior cycle is also currently being reviewed so each of those aspects have an influence on, on the transition year program which is, is this this uh, island in the middle which yeah. uh, sort of is separate from all the other academic stress but maybe to, to sum up, uh, unfortunately, we have um, uh, only a limited time for these interviews, but to sum up, uh, would you recommend, uh, given the Irish experience uh, with transition year, that we uh, explore the possibilities of transition year for our system in Germany? Um, and uh, why would you re recommend that in case you do? I think the transition year has the ability to get to the heart of education because you're looking at your student cohort and you're finding what are the, the gaps in their knowledge or their skill set that you think that they can that they need to develop to become fully competent adults. Um, 
but it also gives great reward to the school and to the teachers involved because you're able to to build on on passion projects and, and build on on the 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 interests of the students without the pressure of external examination or without the pressure of state certification and um, so it's knowledge for knowledge's sake and that's a beautiful thing to see in action absolutely thank you so much louis o'reilly in uh, ireland for sharing your ideas and um, the exciting irish concept with us And I think Deutsche Schule Akademie is very grateful to be able to gain these international perspectives now. And I'm sure many of the participants of our forum will really enjoy uh, delving into these ideas. And um, thanks so much for, for this inspiring conversation we had this morning, Louise. Thanks for asking. All the best to Ireland for the pandemic and hopefully um, the end of the pandemic. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you.